Hello, this is Elena with MedLab Diagnostics doing a quick video on how to use your 11 parameter urine test strips. So your urine test strips test for 11 different parameters and one of the first things that I want to mention is um, these test strips, any urine test strips, regardless of the brand actually, will start to go bad once you open the seal. They do start to deteriorate because they're sensitive to temperature and humidity. So what you want to do before you test your strip is when you take out a strip, you want to make sure that the leukocyte pad, which is the very top pad on your strip, is still like a white, a bone white color. So it should look like this. And then that lets you know that your strip is still good. When the strips do start to go bad, the leukocyte pad will turn, tend to turn purple like this. So if you open your can and you take out a strip and the unused strip is purple already like this, then that means that the strips have gone bad and it's not recommended that you use your strips because a positive leukocyte result looks just like this. It'll turn a dark purple and that indicates a UTI. So you could get a false positive if you unknowingly use a strip that has gone bad. So just do a quick quality check when you open your strips and before you use it, just look at that leukocyte pad and make sure it doesn't look purple like that. Make sure that it looks white like this. These strips will generally last around 60 to 90 days once you open that seal, depending on how well you store them. They could even last a little bit longer if you keep them away from temperature and humidity and store them in a, in a dry, cool place. All right, so now that we have our, our strip here, we're going to do a test, and then we're going to check our results on the pad against the color chart that's on the bottle. So we have a test solution here. Make sure you get your strip completely inside the liquid and take out any excess liquid and you take it out and then lay it down on a flat surface and wait the indicated number of seconds before you read your results. And you can already see the color changes starting to take place. So depending on the parameter, different ones take different times to uh, develop. Some of them will develop in 30 seconds, some of them 40, 60. The leukocyte pad is the one that takes the longest. It takes two minutes. So you want to wait a full two minutes before you read that result. But for the rest of them, it's just a few seconds. So we're going to go ahead and start looking at our results. And you can read these either um, by looking, by comparing your results as the seconds go by, or you can just wait two minutes and then read your entire strip all at once. So here we go, we're gonna start checking out the results. And what you wanna do is you wanna compare the color on your strip to the color on this color chart and just look and see which color on this color chart is the closest match to the color on your strip. So for the leukocyte one, which is at the very top, um, it looks like it's pretty much still that whitish color and that indicates a negative result. The same thing for the nitrite, it's still that white color which indicates a negative result. Urobilinogen is this one and that's a negative result. And then for the protein we have this bluish color which looks like it's all the way back here. That's a very positive protein result and you, you'll notice that you won't always get an exact match but you just go with the color that matches the closest to the one that's on your pad. Okay and then next we're looking at pH and again this pH is very dark so it looks like the pH is all the way over here by 8.5. And the next thing here is blood, and that looks like a negative result. Specific gravity looks like it's going to be at around 1. The score bait is negative, ketones are negative, bilirubin, bilirubin looks negative, and the glucose looks negative as well. So there you go, you compare your strip to the colors on your bottle and you just basically go with the result that's the closest color match that you have to, it, to the colors that you have on your strip. And that's how you read your results. 
I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions at all on how to read your strips or anything about the product, you can reach out to us at info at medlabdiagnostics.org and we'll be happy to help. I um, hope you have a good day and don't forget to like this video. Bye-bye.